Take this! You're mine! You're mine! Take this! You're mine! You're mine! Spirits, come forth! Not so tough now, are you? You're mine! Take this! Take it! Why is it not defeated yet? It's losing steam! We can win this! We will dethrone you, Tormarni! Take this! You're mine! Take this! You're mine! Take this! You're mine! Save this one just for you! Rumble! Not holding back! Time to call on the elemental spirits! I am Gahul, king and master of Castle Cresceno. Successor to this world, you have freed me from my perpetual stockade. Who? The revolutionary King Gahul, creator of the Lunar Sandglass and founder of Etern. How are you here? The Benevadon of the Moon consumed my essence, locking my soul inside its body. Tormarni toys with its prey, altering their minds and confusing their hearts. With its demise, those who were affected shall regain their senses. 
what'll happen to the phantom stuck in the castle? Unlike me, those specters are mere echoes of thoughts from the past, brought to the present through Tormarni's power. Then... they will disappear eventually? You have done well subduing your foe, but I must make one more request of you this day. Protect the Lunar Sandglass in my state. I, I apologize, but the Sandglass, as you know it, was destroyed. I toppled the device when I was a child and broke it. Etem's tragedy was... it was my fault. The Sandglass cannot be broken by a mere child, just as it cannot be broken by time itself. It would be impossible to bring harm to the machine without intent. My lunar sand glass is powered by a magical device, a quasi-perpetual motion apparatus I named the Thaumatorb. I never knew what made it run. An unknown fiend sabotaged the device, not you, young one. Rest easy knowing you are not to blame for Etern's misfortunes. So... it wasn't me. However, if the sand glass is indeed irreparable, its Thaumatorb core may have been plundered by a malicious force. Arvid's war is over and the world no longer in need of such a powerful device. If you find the core, I trust you will destroy it utterly and without hesitation. My time in this world is nearly over. I leave the future to you, the ones who must weather it. Huh? Ah! The ghost disappeared! My apologies for being unable to lend any aid during this adventure. I am afraid the Benevadon bested me. Thank the goddess you're all back to normal. Yeah. But we got an extra helping of trouble from that king and a thumb of what's it we need to watch out for. Let's focus on taking care of the immediate problems first. Namely, the Benevadons and Delafos. Morley. Morley. Who's there? <laughs> the phantoms are going back to where they came from, I think. <sighs> Mother... When I touched the sands of time, I was thrown into echoes of the past. If it weren't for... Those of us who were sent back in time can now slowly move toward a future of our own. Don't be consumed by what happened. Focus on what you can do now. <sighs> Mother, I... I... I found friends as close as family. And a guardian I look up to as a parent. I became a swordsman, just like Father was before he passed. I've done so much. You would have been so proud. Mother, you... You don't have to worry about me. Not anymore. I... I'm, I'm really... Morley, I'm your mother. And I only have one wish. Live. Live your life as fully and as long as you can. For both our sakes. I love you. You will always be my one and only. My little boy. Mother! Thank you.
Your selfless devotion to all that you do is well known to the alms and myself. I'm sure your mother felt it as well. Luna is correct. You have helped us all in incalculable ways at every turn, including this recent affair. Not that this Moon Bedevedon fiasco was our fault. Either way, Marley and Val really came through for everyone this time. Just don't let it go to your heads. You got that, you two? I mean, watching you all was a little funny, at times. Speaking of which, you have this thing about bottling up your emotions. That's not fair to you, or your friends who care about you. Let them out already! <sighs> Uncork that bottle? You mean... <sighs> Deep down, I admit I struggled with my duty as the Om of the Moon. Should the world's future fate be in my hands, am I worthy of that responsibility? But with that last moment I had with my mother, I finally found closure. I can safely say I'm putting the past behind me. I must again give my thanks. De La Fosse's curse is not yet gone from the lands, but thanks to your help, I will be able to suppress it for now. <sighs> I think it's time for us to check on Milpa and the others. All of this was a Benevidon's doing, you say? Ah, oh, we were lucky you were here to lend a hand. Though I cannot think back on my behavior without utter embarrassment, and in front of my star pupil, no less. Please, you have nothing to be ashamed of, Milpa. After all, I saw people far worse off during this particular ordeal. Don't you look at me like that! <laughs> What matters is that the threat is gone. Now the parish can be rebuilt as planned. Expect more hands arriving to help Etern shortly. I'll make sure of that. We can't let the alms do all the work around here. Don't worry, Niccolo isn't off the hook either. I'll be calling on him for supplies and to inform him about your recent victory. If you ask me, the future looks bright for the parish. We must forge ahead. It falls to us to further ensure a peaceful prospect for the people. So what are we waiting for? Dalefos won't wait forever and neither will the Benevidons. No rest for the wicked. Sound about right. Milba, it is my intention to have a hand in rebuilding Eter as well. When I see everyone working hard for our homeland, my heart aches. If I've learned anything on my journey, it's not to ignore that yearning. I can see the resolve in your eyes. That willpower shall see you through. Fate is on your side. Fulfill the destiny that awaits you, regardless of what you've been told. Do what you know is right. Your courage will strengthen its hand. Though the parish may not be the same bustling landscape of your memories for many years, its people are with you, Morley, no matter what. Safe travels, Morley! Thank you, everyone. That was some trip, huh? Karina, please. You don't know the half of it. I'm just so, so happy to hear you bicker again. Gandum, the Benevidon of Water. It oh, that. 